okay in the last video I'll just get rid of that little bit there I was looking at the duration maps and, and there was files five four three two one and zero and I said that in the next video I would look for the selector for these maps now there is a fair chance it's here occasionally it's at the other end so it's at the end of the maps and occasionally it's at the beginning of the map so there is a fair chance it's here so if I go back to this first map and then go to look for text view get rid of that highlight it's jumped because of that highlight so if I go back to there right now at the moment it's decided to jump to a view that matches more or less a map view I'm just going to add some more to fill the screen up a bit better right now what we're really looking for is the number six so what we could do is we could go and use search and search for six and what I often suggest to people is that they go a bit before let's say up here somewhere click randomly anywhere it doesn't matter and then use search and search for six and that will probably do what we want so let's just try that we'll go there no reason why we'll just go there and then I'll say search byte sequence and in there I'll put one two three four five and a six on the end and I won't click OK because that won't give me a chance to do another search so I'll just click go forwards and it's jumped to there and it's six and six well I'm not looking for a six by six so I don't want that which means it's going to jump to there so I'm, I don't want that either so I'll go again now it's jumped to there right it seems to be jumping all over the place so let's go and have another look right we've got several sixes but now we've ended up just in front of and I'll just I'll get rid of that out of the way here's our duration zero and we're just in front of it with a six so there's a fairly good chance that that's what we've been looking for our duration selector I'll just delete that All right, now let's have a look at the numbers that's probably not relevant that's probably a pointer being used by the file developers and winnows then I've got a number there another one so that's what one two three four five six well maybe not let's have a look let's go back the other way let's try it here if you've looked at these files before especially the EDC 15 you'll know that these actually represent naught one two three four five six so maybe this number is relevant well let's go back and see anyway because what we'll do is to find out what's happening we'll go right one two three four five uh, one two three four five six so there's my six one two three four five six right now if I press K with a little bit of luck that will select that and it has now Winnows as you can see has jumped in and decided what these are and you always need to be a little bit wary of this in case Winnows gets it wrong now what I normally do is when that happens I jump straight to that and have a check but I'm not going to because I just want to sort this bit out first right we think that this is the duration selection map or selector so we'll call it duration selector um, the description and the units is fairly meaningless in this case we want it to read numbers that we understand so if we put in 0 0.0390 0 0.0390 six two five it will read one two three and so on it will only do that because what we've effectively done is divide every number by 256 so 256 divided by 256 is one two three four five so it's not magic it's dead simple the way it's worked out right now what we need to do is have a look at this and see what Winnows has done because sometimes Winnows just decides oh I'll stick any old numbers in there let's see what happens um, right now what has it done with this has really done anything has it it's just decided that they are numbers um, it's decided that there's a sign in for them hence the minus 86 which is not unreasonable because if it didn't use that sign 
what we would get would be a silly number thanks to the 65450. So using the sign there does make a lot of sense. Now, let's have a look. I would say that we probably want to use our old friend 0 0.023437 in there, don't we? And then let's have to try a couple of decimal points and see what we get. So let's have a look. Right now. Yeah, I suppose that could re be reasonable. It's suggesting which map we should be using, and quite a lot of the time we would be using perhaps one and zero. Um, they, they make reasonable, reasonably sensible figures. So okay, yeah. So I'll accept that for now. I can always worry about it later because the thing that I would want to do would be to look at these figures here and then look at the duration maps and see if they make sense. So that when it decides it's going to choose map one, is map one a sensible map to use at that point? But I'd have to dig a lot deeper into all the files to double check that. But those seem like quite reasonable numbers at the moment, whereas they didn't before. So I'll leave them as that for now. So I'll say, right, OK, that's all right then. So now then I've got my duration selector, duration maps, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've got those. So I've got pretty much everything I need there. So what I'll do is I'll stop at that point. I'll probably go and look for start of injection next. Right, so.